just for the next few moments, we're going to play a good game of hide and go seek. Now, y'all watch those cups now. You see it? You see it in the cup? It's in the middle. All right, let's see if we can find it. In the middle. Mmm. 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 Does everybody know where it's at right now? Okay. Where's it at? On the right? All right, give yourself a hand clap. All right, here, let's do it again. All right, it's on the right. Watch it now, watch it. I know why y'all watching it so good because it's a donut hole and y'all forgot to eat this morning. Yeah. Where's it at? The left? Oh, give yourself a donut hole. Woo! All right, we're going to do faster now. You're awake. Let's go. Uh-huh. Where's it at? In the middle. Woo! Uh, Y'all watch it now, I'm afraid. Some of y'all ain't watching it because I hear people talking. Where's it at? The middle? Some say the right. The right it is. I'm thinking those that thought it was in the middle was talking and not watching. I mean, I'm just throwing it out there. Just I think I may have just lost it. All right. The middle. The middle. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, I think. Turbo. Uh, yeah. Uh. Okay. The left. Yeah. Way to go, boy. Ricky, boy. Ricky, over here. It's the left, man. It's the left. It's the left. <laughs> okay, I'm lost. Sister Bumgarner, when you need her, because I don't think my eyes can see that. Right, right. Hey, that was a great guess. You just, you just guessed on that, man. You're like, oh, right, right. It's always right, right. Alrighty, on the right. I think this is the last one. It's like when you take a test. If you don't know what the answer is, just put C. <laughs> left. 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 Yeah. Yeah, that left. That's the other that left. Oh, harder. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Sure. Yeah? Uh-huh. No. Yeah? Maybe. Uh ooh. Wow. Shazams. Middle. Wow. Alrighty. Before
Before we get started this morning, let me introduce my wonderful family. This gorgeous lady that's leading is Sister Fleming. She's my lovely wife, and I'm going to tell you, she's a trooper. We've been together almost 18 years, and I'm going to tell you, to be married to Brother Fleming for almost eight, for 18 years, you're a trooper. To my left, in this beautiful redhead, this is Tierra Nicole. This is my oldest daughter, and then to my right, uh, pretty eyes, this is Macy Leanna. And we want to say how glad that we are to be here this morning, and as you saw those those cups up there, and we were trying to find that donut hole. We were playing a good game of hide and seek. But let me tell you what is important this morning. That you don't hide your praise, that you don't be quiet, because this is Sunday school. So we want you to clap your hands, don't hide your joy, don't hide your Holy Ghost, and that applies to everybody. Let me ask you today, I'm going to give everybody one quick thing that I ask of you. I want you to choose a number this morning between 4 and 11. Everybody that is beyond these rows, all of you around here, pick a number really quick between 4 and 11. Okay, now I want you at the count of three to shout out that number that you just chose between 4 and 11, okay? On the count of three. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay, so here it is. For the rest of the morning, that is the age that you are. Okay? Okay? So this morning, everybody is children. This morning, this is Sunday school. So uh, for some of you husbands that your wife tells you you act like a kid, Brother Fleming has given you permission today just to live large. All right? All right? So all that kid that is hidden in every one of us, we're going to worship the name of the Lord today, and we're going to have a great time. Hit it, my show. All right, let's stand up this morning. Everybody stand up. Come on in, guys. Come on in. I don't bite hard. Making melodies in my heart. Making melodies in my heart. Making melodies in my heart to the king of kings. Thumbs up. Making melodies in my heart, making melodies in my heart, making melodies in my heart to the king of peace. Thumbs up, thumbs up, it was back, it was back. Making melodies in my heart, making melodies in my heart, making melodies in my heart to the king of peace. Thumbs up, thumbs up, it was back, it was back. Legs apart.
sorry, y'all. That wasn't the right song. So I could sing it. Y'all want me to sing it? Yeah. All right. And y'all y'all come over here. Come over here so they can see. You ready? Okay. We're going to repeat after me. I am a Christian. I am a Christian. I'm not a mighty Christian. I am a Christian. I am a Christian. A mighty, mighty Christian. I got the shield of faith. Righteous breastplate. Sword of the Spirit. My loins are girded by truth. Helmet of salvation. I got my gospel shoes on. And above, all, and above all, I said above all, all, I said above it all, all, I'm dressed in the whole armor of God, because I am a Christian, a model, model Christian, I am a Christian. A mighty, mighty Christian. A mighty, mighty Christian. I got the shield of faith. Righteous breastplate. Sword of the Spirit. My loins are girded by truth. Helmet of salvation. I got my gospel shoes on. And above all. And above all, I said above it all, I'm dressed in the whole armor of God. Y'all did so good. Y'all can be seated. So who can tell me what y'all been learning at Vacation Bible School? What have y'all been learning? Y'all been learning about the armor of God. Yeah, about dinosaurs? Oh, and dragons and dungeons? Oh, wow. Let's, let's listen to this. You know what this is? Who can tell me what this is? This is a Bible? I thought this was a map. You know? Because you know what? Everything I need to know about what I need to do and where to go is where? In the Bible. So this is my road map to life. And in Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 13, it says, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. <laughs> You know what that tells me? That if I pray every day the armor of God, because you know it now, right? Because you've been in vacation Bible school, and I put the armor of God on, that I'll be able to withstand all the devil has to throw at me. Oh, Did Sister you know Fleming, that? Sister Fleming, I'm ready for battle. Sister Fleming, wait. I'm ready, I'm ready. Sister Fleming, I'm ready for battle. Uh... You are ready for battle? Yeah, I got my whole armor on. Oh, no, Brother Fleming. Explain yourself. Well, I told them Friday night that I went to my tool shed and I got all my armor on. Okay, explain yourself. Well, you see, I have my feet. I got my peace shoes on. But those look like muck boots. <laughs> They're peace shoes. They're peace shoes? Yeah, the because... gospel me, shoes? Well, because here's the deal. Check this out, Sister Fleming. You're going to love this. You kind of tell me sometimes that spreading the gospel is kind of muddy well, and dirty? Who's telling this story? You or me? Well, I'm just trying to understand. Well, well let me just tell you something. Sometimes when we're children, we get into some really, really dirty situations. And sometimes people just try to get you all mud. Now, how many of you have ever stepped in the mud and you lost your shoe because that mud stole your shoe? And you were like... Ugh! And then all of a sudden you came up barefooted. Is that anybody? Uh-huh. Yeah. 
Well, check this out. Look, check out these pea shoes. These are so cool. Watch this. Bam. Check that out. So no matter how deep it gets, huh? What do you think about that? So see, there's my pea shoes. See? It all okay. makes sense. Yeah. Okay. And, and then what kind of belt is that? Well, it's my truth belt, of course. Your truth belt? Yeah. Here. Hold right. Stay right there. Stay right there. Are you trying truth? You have to build stuff? Oh, absolutely. We build our faith. We build our character by not lying. Oh, yeah, all the time. See, watch this. Hold that. This, this Sister Fleming is called a tape measure. You measure stuff with this. <laughs> but see, let me tell you something. When, as we're growing up, we need to measure our life. When we come to Sunday school and we learn what Jesus likes of us, and when you get around your friends and they say, hey, let's do this and let's do that, what you've got to be able to do is you've got to be able to measure what they're trying to get you to do in response to what you've learned at Sunday school. And this thing right here, this is what they call a speed square. A what? Yeah. Let me tell you. Let's see. It's the building square. I don't know about the building, but that ain't half bad. <laughs> so we got to live a square life? Yeah, because look, check this out, kids. Whoa! <laughs> because you see what this thing does? See, Jonathan, what this thing does is if you're straight here and you line your board up right here, it's always going to be straight. And I'm going to tell you something. Your testimony at school... Your testimony at home, your testimony around your friends, if you are always honest and you always tell the truth and people can depend on you, you're going to have a square and a straight life. And when people need you and people need Jesus, they're going to come to you. And it's all about being square and truthful and honest. Okay. I see um, you got something on your chest. What's that supposed to be? Well, I couldn't quite get my stop sign underneath my overalls, but I got <clears throat> I got my breastplate I of it righteousness. Fits you so well, the breast. And what is that supposed to do? Huh? The breastplate of righteousness. What's well, it supposed to do? Well, it, Sister Fleming, it has to protect my heart. Because is that what it does? It protects your heart. Because okay. on Valentine's Day and oh. on your birthday. And on your anniversary, my heart's got to be working really good. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. So, um, what is that on your head? Everybody wants to know what's on your head. It's my helmet of salvation. Okay. Yeah. Hey, let me tell you something. I went over right here on the corner. This dude was selling them all kinds of them. I just, hey, went in Rome, do as the Romans do. But, uh. But this is my helmet of salvation. Because you know what happens? If I don't put on my helmet of salvation... Then if I'm watching bad stuff or I'm listening to bad music, all of that stuff, it goes into my mind. And it just keeps going around and around and around and around. And when I need to be thinking about good thoughts, you know what happens, Jonathan? I got all that bad stuff that I saw and I heard. So if I put on my helmet of salvation, and this was a big helmet of salvation, you know what I'm saying? And so it just runs off and... I mean, dude, I, I could get like some of these whole families up underneath here with me. I mean, we could turn this into a duplex. So this is my helmet of salvation. And so when, when things try to come into my mind, when bad thoughts try to come into my mind, it just goes. Phew. Bounces right off. Just bounces right off. Well, on this one, it kind of just goes up. But you, you, you get the gist. You get the gist. Yeah. Is that your shield of faith? I guarantee Whoever cleans the church, I promise you, I'll give this back later. Isn't it? It's a trash can land, but hey, let me tell you something. If you don't have faith, you don't have the whole armor. You see, the amazing thing about the armor is you got to have it all. And you know what? Some people think that faith is just trash. Oh, you ain't got to have faith. You ain't got to have faith. I'm going to tell you something. You got to have faith because you know what happens sometimes? Sometimes Brother Fleming doesn't get to see everything. Sometimes I'm driving down the road and there's a turn coming and I don't know what's around that turn. But you know what? I know that Jesus loves me and I have faith that he's always watching after me. So I can just turn that curb and then see what's on the other side. And let me tell you something. No matter how old you are, 
You're going to face that sometimes. And you've got to stand behind your faith. You've got to stand behind what Pastor Bumgarner and the ministers here teach you and preach. And you've got to stand behind that and say, you know what? I may not understand, but my pastor and the ministry team at this church has preached and taught me, my Sunday school teachers, and I'm going to stand behind that, and that's going to be my shield of faith. Yep. Amen. So what do you got for the sword of the spirit? The huh? Sword. You know, sword of the spirit. Oh, I just thought it said the weapon. Weapon of the spirit, huh? Yeah. What do you have? Well, I have something, but I didn't know that Brother Bumgarner was going to be in here this morning. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you bring? Well, you know, in Texas, it's go big or go home, right? Right. I brought a bazooka. You brought a bazooka. I brought a bazooka. <laughs> and then he's in here. Uh, well, just use him in your illustration. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. But I tell you what. Hey, can I get some of y'all to help me this morning? Hannah, would you like to help me this morning? Yeah. Huh? Would you like to help me? Can I get you to stand just right there? No? Jordy, would you like to help me this morning? No? Oh, my. You want to help me? Hey, can you come stand right here, sweetie? Okay, I need, I need four young ladies to help me. Okay, you two, come on. And then you stand right here. Y'all stand right here. All righty. And then I need four young men. Who wants to help me, guys? All right, come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. And then you come on. We got some other stuff. For, and I want y'all guys to stand right here, all right? We're going to show y'all this. This is cool. This is so cool. All right. So I'm, right now, don't do anything with this. Just hold it, okay? okay? Your guys, let me tell you again, don't do anything with it. <laughs> Just hold it. Okay, wait, you are guys. One more time, look in my eyes. Don't do anything with the cup. Just hold it. What are y'all going to do with the cup? Hold it. All right. Wait, it's going to get worse as they get older, I promise you. Here you go, lovely ladies. Y'all just take those cups and you just hold those right there. Now, what I need y'all to do is I need you to take that thing. I want you to balance it on top of your head when I tell you to. Not right now. Okay. Check this out. Oh, yeah. I can't believe Brother Bumgarner came in here this morning. Oh, yeah. All right, ladies. Go ahead and put your cups on top of your head and balance them. Because we fist in the potty. <laughs> now look, if a disco ball comes down from the roof, I want some of you saved, saved and sanctified to act normal. All right, y'all ready? Here we go. You guys ready? All right. <coughs> All right, here we go, guys. Y'all can go back to your seat. Here you go, right here. I got you. All righty. Awesome. Get behind me. All right, y'all watch up here.
você sabe que eu sou ruim Eu shot with a bazooka I did that was kind of fun wasn't it but how many knows you got to have your whole armor of God amen amen well, let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise so far amen I tell you what that's a big helmet of salvation isn't it it really is Amen. Well, we want to do something that's very spiritual this morning. We're going to take a break, and we're going to take up our Sunday morning tithe and offering, and uh, thank everybody for coming out. Uh, also, we didn't do it last weekend because of Pentecost Sunday, but we are taking up our global missions offering today. So if you have a global missions pledge, say, I'm going to open my wallet, I'm going to give unto the Lord. So all you adults, everybody say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. That we have the opportunity to give as unto the Lord. Amen. Praise God. And uh, one of our ushers to come. Sister, you can just play some, some fun music. And uh, I'm putting this in the offering, Jordan. I'm not giving it to you. <laughs> See how daughters are? They just automatically put their hands out. But I'm thankful today for everyone that's in the house. And we're thankful for all of our visitors and guests. And, and just remember today, we are having a drawing at the end of service somebody's going home with fifty dollars and somebody's going home with twenty five dollars so if you really want that to be you say amen, amen. well praise God and you know what just like you can get the fifty dollars or twenty you can get the Holy Ghost today And it's more valuable than any money you can get. So if you want Jesus to do something for you this morning, say amen. amen. Oh, there's not enough of you here. If you really want Jesus to do something for you this morning, say amen. amen. Well, glory. Praise God, I'm feeling better. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, we thank you this morning for this opportunity to give. 
We thank you, Lord, for your many blessings. We thank you for the roof over our head. We thank you for the clothes on our back, the shoes on our feet, Lord, food you put on our table. We are thankful, Lord, that we have the opportunity to give. You have provided for us. Now we plant this seed into the kingdom of God, for we know it will not return void. And we praise you for it in Jesus' name. Can the church say amen? amen. Praise God. Let's give us unto the Lord this morning. Play something. Get everybody clapping their hands. motions first okay so the so we're just going to do the course and then y'all can just kind of follow along on the verse it says i'll be packing my bags so watch tia she's packing her bags see when i need to stay i'll be chasing every breeze that blows my way i'll be building my kingdom just to watch it fade away that's me without you. Ooh, 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 ooh. Y'all got it? All right, we're going to try it.
Jesus in the house this morning. I'm thankful today that Jesus is in the house. Amen. I'm going to tell you something. Some of you up here on the front couple of rows, you don't know. Man, what some of the older children know. But I'm going to tell you something. I'm glad that I've got Jesus in my life. And before we sing our next action song, I want to say this this morning. We're going to have a good time. We're having a good time. But the most important thing is, is that we leave this place this morning and that we know that Jesus is on the inside of us. Because no matter how small you are or how big you are, every one of us need Jesus in our life. Amen. We need the Holy Ghost. We need the Spirit of God living inside of us. Man, so this morning we talked... We talked about the armor of God. We talked about that. Y'all have done it in VBS. How many of y'all enjoyed VBS this week? Woo awesome. Man, and the rest of this morning, we're going to talk about how Jesus is here to help us and to keep us. Amen. So stand up again. Worship with us as we sing unto the Lord this next song. And a lot of you will know this song. Yeah, I was told y'all did this song, so I expect to see a lot of monkeying around, okay? Everybody stand up. Hey, this is Are y'all ready? Y'all ready? All right. Y'all can be seated this morning. All right. I now understand, Not Sister good. Fleming, why Brother Bumgarner so wore out all the time. Because there's a lot of folks monkeying around around here. <laughs> all right. We're going to do a relay race. Who likes to do relay races? All right. I need some girls and I need some boys. Okay. Who helped last time? I don't know. I wasn't out here. Okay. Let's see. I'll take you on the boys' team. So you go stand by Tierra. You on the boys' team. You on the boys' team. And you on the boys' team. He already went. Well, you can come too. Come on. Come on, all of y'all. Okay. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So I need girls. You want to help me? Come on the girls' team with Macy. Jordy, you want to play? Come on in here. Uh, you come over here, and you come over here. How many do I got? Four, five, six. Okay. 
Now, <coughs> this is the army, okay? And we're going to have an army drill. Are you ready? Because in armies, what do they do? What do they do? They do. They make you do what? Run, do push-ups, train. Train, that's a great word. They make you train. So I know y'all are all strong because y'all's been at vacation Bible school boot camp all week. And I know this is not going to be hard for anybody. So you want to put them right here? Okay, so we're going to start right here, girls. So this team, you come stand at this step. Yep. Y'all come stand right here, and y'all going to face that wall. Okay, who's going to go first? All right. I need someone strong. You gonna go first? Come here, honey. All right. Get over here. Macy, if you go stand you next to that door, a wall. Tia, if you go stand and next right to here that in the door, middle, you gotta pick these bags up. Doors, the, the wall. Can you do it? You wanna try? Test it out. All right, guys. Oh my goodness, you are strong. All right, y'all okay, guys. Put it down, let's Jeff. get let's get in the line right here. Okay, let's get hurt. Here, There's a deal. Okay. You can't let the girls so beat turn us, okay? around. Turn around that on, way. We gotta man up on this thing. Okay. All right, give me five. We're gonna man up. We're going to man up on this. Come on, man. I mean, you can't let girls. Girls? No. Okay. So, this is what we're going to do. I need one of y'all to pick it up. Y'all going to run down here. You're going to sit them down. No, 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 not yet. You got to watch what you're doing. Go back. Go back. Okay. So, you're going to bring that bottle down here. Hey, y'all watch. Watch what you got to do. You're going to run down here. You're going to sit your water bottle down. You're going to give Sister Tierra a high five. You're going to pick your bag back up, and you're going to go. And then when you get to the next person, you give them a high five. Then they pick it up, and they go. They sit it down. High five. They pick it up. And then you pick it up again, and you keep on going. Y'all got that? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to get in a single file line, and that way it's really easy. So sit this one down right here, bub. And you get right here, you stand behind him, and you stand behind him. Come on right here, buddy. Come on right here. And then, guys, I'm depending on y'all to carry the weight, you know what I'm saying? All right. I left y'all for the back because y'all are the anchors, all right? Okay. Hey, wait, we're working a strategy right now. Just. got our strategy plan. I know. Okay. Oh, we got this. Okay. On my mark. No, no, we're going to use this one right here, buddy. Okay, go! No, 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 right here. Keep this one. Oh, no! Stand right here. You're going to be next. There you go. High five. High five her. Bring it back. Oh, no. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on, come on. Sit it down. High five. Bam. All right, pick it up. Take this one. There you go. Go, Mango. Go, Mango. There you go. Look at it. Look at it. Go. Oh. All right, high five. Come we'll on. get you going. Okay, here we go. Pick it up. Let's go back. Come on, come on, come on. Let's All right, here we go. Come on, here we go. The girls won. The girls won. All right, high five. Bam. All right, go, buddy, go. Teamwork makes the dream work. High five. Come on, let's go, let's go. All right, here you go, buddy. Pick that up. All right, high five. Go, buddy, go. Go, man, go. go. Oh, no. oh, no, he's stumbling. Come back. on, cowboy up. Somebody's better help him. Come on, let's cowboy up. High five. Let's go, cowboy up. All right, high five. All right, go, bro, go. Come on. You're my anchor, man. Don't slow up now. Y'all done lost. Come on. All right, high five. All right, wait, go, go, bro, go. We didn't cheat. Come on, come on, come on. All right, guys, come on, way to go, guys. Woo! All right, y'all go back to your seat. We yes, didn't sir. cheat. No. Oh. Okay, you can go sit down. Did Brother Fleming ever say you had to carry your bag alone? No, he didn't. He just said he did say one at a time well he lied to you boys because you know what a soldier if you're a soldier in an army are you by yourself no could one guy win a battle not generally I mean I there's been heroic men who have gone into battle with others and had to step up 
but they weren't alone. They had other men with them. Because an army is many fighting together. And that's how we win the victory. Okay, I need another volunteer. Uh, let's see. Who hasn't been he out here yet? Which one hasn't been out here? Okay, come here, pretty girl. Yeah, you. Come here. Come up here. Come stand up here. Come walk up that step right there and come stand over this trash bag. Now, this is a spaghetti noodle. Can you break it? That's pretty easy, wasn't it? Here, break another one. A single spaghetti noodle. I mean, it's by itself. You can just tear it up, right? You can fight. Man, now let's try this. How many can you hold in your hand? Let's get a whole army of spaghetti noodles. Can you hold this whole army of spaghetti noodles? Can you break that army? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. You can't break it, can you? That's because as an army, it takes a lot more to fight us because we're get stronger together. That's right. Right? When we come to church, we get stronger because we are together. We are a unified body. Thank you. We can't win the war by ourselves. We need people holding us up. We need a pastor holding us up in prayer. We need Sunday school teachers. Can you do it? You want to try? Come here. I'm going to let you try. Get up here. We'll let you try later. Try. Oh. <laughs> he is strong. Y'all watch out for him. Don't be getting in any fights with that little dude. Okay, are y'all ready for another puppet show? Yeah! yeah! Are y'all going to help me? Because I sing with the puppets. Are y'all going to sing with me? Okay. Say, hit it, maestro! I'm gonna try and reach you. Class is now in session. Pay attention to the teacher. We're going through the book, Genesis to Revelation. I'll teach your head how to spread salvation to the nation. We'll start with the basics, a checklist for the saints. Love the Lord with all your heart and mind and soul and strength. To fear the Lord is wisdom. To serve the Lord the mind. To really break it down, just repeat these words of mine. We are war with sin. God trains us for evangelists, apostles, prophets too. Pastors teach us five and all. We are what to do. The sermon comes interpretation, prophecy, and faith. Wisdom, knowledge, healing, miracles, yeah, that is great. These gifts are like atomic bombs, they make the world explode. They just don't mean nothing unless you know the code.
quick you want to play a little game real quick so i'm gonna say i love jesus yes i do i love jesus how about you and you repeat it after me the way i say it are you ready i love jesus yes i do i love jesus how about you Y'all can get because I thought I'd be boom back into this stage. So let's try one more time. I love Jesus, yes I do. I love Jesus, how about you? I love Jesus, yes I do. I love Jesus, how about you? Woo! Y'all love Jesus. How many of you today love Jesus? Man, I love Jesus. Man, hey, I need somebody that is strong. Man, you look strong. Can you come help me, buddy? I'm strong. You're strong. All right, hey, what I want you to do is I want you just to stand right here up against this thing, and I want you to look out to this wonderful audience. Doesn't he look sharp this morning? All right, and now you just back up right there. All right, can you can you flex your muscles for me, bro? Oh, I think he can do it. All righty. All right, everybody sit down just for a moment. All righty. How many of you sometimes have picked up stuff that was really heavy? How many of y'all carry your backpacks to school and then sometimes your backpacks start getting heavy and you get tired and you don't want to carry them no more? Yeah. Well, you know what? There's all kinds of things in life that we have to carry. The Bible tells us that we need to be careful with what we carry because sometimes if we carry the wrong things it'll weigh us down but there are certain things in life that we've got to carry so if you'll take that hand out right there buddy oh uh, no i'm afraid not just one hand hold it good there at your chest all right because uh you have another one to hold up later but you know what all through life we have to carry things we have to be a witness we have to wear the whole armor of God. And that means you've got to be strong to put on the whole armor of God. Your helmet of salvation, your breastplate of righteousness. But you know what? Even in all of that, sometimes we become very, very, very tired. Mm -hmm. Because you know what? Let me be honest with you guys. Loving Jesus and being a Christian, sometimes it's not always easy. Brother Fleming is not going to tell you wrong. Sometimes you need somebody to help. Sometimes you need somebody to pray with you. Sometimes you need somebody to come along and say, Hey, you're doing great, buddy. Just keep it up. You're going to be all right. Because that's encouragement. I just want to tell you, you're doing a fine job. Fine job. You know? Now let me ask you something. Can you, can you move them out a little bit? Can you do like this and move them out? Can we? You got it? I can't balance it. You can't balance it? You, do you need some help? You need some help? All righty. Can I get you to come help me just for a second? In the blue tie, looking sharp, brother. Come over here. All right. Now just stand right there and help him hold that. Just put your hand on it. Here, help him out, man. Don't help the brother out. All righty. Let me see. Let me see. Hey, would you like to come help? Can you come help him over here? He looks like he needs some help. See, I got you. I got you. I got you some help. Now you're helping him. Now you also got to help him balance it. All right, let's stretch this thing on out here. Now y'all, come on, y'all be a servant. 
Can you, can you put your hands underneath there and just help him? Help him hold it up. Can you put that hand underneath there too? There you go. Oh, oh that is awesome. Now let me come back here and let me take a look see what it looks like. Oh, that is looking gorgeous. That's looking awesome, handsome, looking great. All right, so here's the deal. If you look in the book of Exodus chapter 17, you will find, have you ever heard of a guy named by the name of Moses? Has anybody, you heard of Moses? Have y'all heard about Moses? Yeah. Well, well, check this out. Moses found himself in a place where there were some evil people that were coming to attack them. And Moses told Joshua in the army, the army of God that had their helmets of salvation and they had their breastplates of righteousness and they had the shield of faith. He said, I want you guys to go out and fight. And he said, when I lift my hands up, all right, let's go work together. When I lift my hands up, you're going to win the battle and you're going to beat the enemy. But when, when my hands begin to lower, then the enemy begin to win. So guess what happened? There was an Aaron and a Hur in the Bible. Aaron and Hur, you got it? But his name was really spelled H-U-R. So anyways... So then, Moses was there all day and he began to become tired. Hey, can you have a seat? Can you have sit, sit back? Awesome. Not you. Not you, Aaron. <laughs> Got it. What, see? Now that's help. That was hell. Way to go, sis. All right. But check this out. So he sat down because Moses was old and he got tired easy. So what Aaron and Hur did was they held his hands up. And the Bible says that they held his hands up all day long. And the children of Israel were able to win the battle. Because Mo there was somebody there to help Moses lift up his hands. And he was able to, the children of Israel were able to conquer and win that battle. Okay, y'all can go back and be seated. Gotcha. Give him a hand clap. But check this out. Hey, bud. Here, let me take that skitty. All right, have yourself a seat. But you know what? In life, there's all kind of things that begin to weigh us down. And so it is that we need people to help us. You know why there's a church here today? Can anybody tell me why there's a church here today? Why is there a church here, Jordy? That's right. But there's a church here so that we can come and love Jesus and that we can strengthen each other. That in the church when we come and we begin to worship the Lord and we begin to clap our hands and we begin to lift up the name of Jesus, that we strengthen one another. That when we begin to testify and we tell people, man, you're never going to believe what happened at school. I was able to witness to another young lady and she's coming to Sunday school with me. And you know what happens? That encourages somebody else to witness. That encourages somebody else when somebody, they came to church and said, I never get anybody to come to church. Well, did you ask? Oh, anyways. Um, so, um. Oops. Hi, bub. Don't pick any more of that up, okay? Will you do that for Brother Fleming? All right, we're almost finished. So, but the great thing about this is, is you don't always have a friend that's right there next to you. But you know what? When you're right here and you're carrying your witness and you're carrying your armor and you're trying to do the work of the Lord, when you don't have anybody, Jesus tells us that He is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. So that when you don't have anybody that can help you, Jesus will lift up your hands and Jesus uh, will help you be victorious. Uh, and this morning, there's some of you in here today that you may have received the Holy Ghost. Uh, you may have gotten Jesus' power on the inside of you. But there's some of you today that says, well, Brother Fleming, I don't know what you're talking about, the Holy Ghost. Uh, I don't have Jesus. I, I haven't spoken that heavenly language. Then to you this morning, I want to tell you that Jesus is here and He's wanting to help you. He's wanting to lift up your hands. He's wanting to tell you that you can be victorious no matter how young you are or how old you are. That Jesus is here and He is willing to lift you up. He's willing to strengthen your hands. He's willing to allow you to be victorious this morning. I'm going to ask this morning if everybody could stand this morning. And I'm going to ask the ministry team if they would to come and stand around these altars and face the audience. If I could get Brother Bumgarner, the ministry team, some of you Sunday school teachers, if you could come this morning. I'm going to ask if you could to come and stand and face this wonderful audience. 
And as we come to a close, I know that Pastor Bumgarner has, has mentioned to everybody how thankful that we are that you're here today. But for my family, let me say to you, I am thankful for everybody. You parents that brought your children out this morning, thank you, thank you, thank you. You have invested in them beyond anything else that you could ever put in their lives by allowing them to have an encounter with Jesus Christ. And today I commend every one of you parents. And to you children today, Jesus is here. And He wants to put the helmet of salvation on your head. He wants to put that breastplate of righteousness. He wants to fill your heart this morning. So before we come to the altar, there's four rules to worshiping God. Four rules to receiving the Holy Ghost. And I'm going to demonstrate them for you. And when we come up to the front, I want you to come and stand in front of one of your Sunday school teachers, one of the ministry staff, and it's four easy rules. When you come up to the front, I want you to close your eyes. Because you see, if you don't close your eyes, there may be somebody next to you that's not going to pray, and they're going to be over there fiddling around. And if you watch them, then you can't focus on what Jesus is doing. So when we come up, everybody close your eyes. And then that way, it's just you and Jesus. Can y'all got that? What we, what's the first thing we're going to do when we go up there? We're going to close our eyes. Okay? Then the fourth, the second thing we're going to do, I skipped almost three of them. The second thing that we're going to do is we're going to lift our hands. Because you see, when you lift your hands, it's like a funnel. And Jesus can just flow right through that. And He funnels right through your hands and right into your mind and into your heart. So when you come up, we're going to close our eyes and we're going to lift our hands. The third thing that we're going to do is we're going to tilt our head back. Not, not all the way back, but just tilt your head back so that your face is facing heaven. And then finally, the fourth thing that we're going to do is we're going to speak in our playground voice. Do you know what your playground voice is? What is it? It's loud. You know why? Because we want to make sure that Jesus hears us this morning. And when we come up and we close our eyes and we lift our hands and we lift our head back and we begin to talk in that outside voice and something like this. I love you, Jesus. And I want you to fill my heart with your love. I want you to fill me with the Holy Ghost. I want to take on the whole armor of God. You see, I know in church sometimes that the adults say, Shh, y'all be quiet. Y'all be quiet. Y'all be quiet. But you know what? When we come to the altar, that's not a time to be quiet. When we come to the altar, that's a time that we speak out to Jesus and we tell Him how much that we love Him and how much that we want Him to live inside of us. If you will allow me just 30 seconds. I am here today to be a children evangelist. But if you allow me just a few seconds, let me today say this. That beyond these few roles, there's somebody here today that you've come and you've come tattered, you've come torn, and you've come weak in your spirit. And you walked through those double doors today and you brought your child, but in reality, when you looked at yourself in the mirror this morning, if you would be honest with yourself today, you would say, I am that person that's weak. I am that person today that needs to be lifted up. And we're fixing to let these children come to the altar. We're going to pray with them. But as these children come, I want to extend to you today and tell you that there is a God that loves you beyond every problem. There's a God that loves you beyond every sin. That at this church, that there's people that are not perfect. Let me say this today. Every one of these of the ministry team stand before you today, they are imperfect. This church that you're sitting in, as beautiful as it is, it is imperfect also. The only thing perfect in this place today is the God that we have all come to worship. So as you come today, amen, don't worry about being judged because if you knew the testimony of these people here, some of them were just like you. Amen. Amen. But God is here to lift you up. God is here to magnify you. Amen. Can we just, for a moment, you adults, can we just bow our heads right now? We're fixing to open these altars up to these children because I believe that Jesus is fixing to do something. And then after the children come up, amen, if God is pulling at your heart, adult, we invite you to come and stand behind them.
Hey, children, are we ready to pray? Are we ready for Jesus to do something? Okay. Hey, let's come to the front. Stand in front of your Sunday school teacher or stand in front of one of your ministers this morning. Amen. And let's let's do the four steps. Let's close our eyes. Let's lift our hands. Let's tilt our head back. Amen. And let's begin to talk in our adobos. Go ahead, Jonathan. Get up there next to somebody.
Break every chain, break every chain. 
Jesus Christ is Lord. 
try to worship God. And this morning we have cause to lift up the name of Jesus. God has been good to us this morning. We have felt his power. And in just a few moments, Brother Bungard is going to tell us who the winners is of that, but why the presence of God is in this place. Amen. We're going to sing this one more time. Amen. But I'm depending on Peace Tabernacle today. Amen. To let off all the chains, let off all the shackles. And let's take just a few moments to worship God and to give Him glory and give Him honor for what He's done in this place. Amen. Because I know this is a church that knows how to touch the throne of glory.